back YouTube. This is Morris 17. This is another Let's Play Transport Fever. And um, Winston Salem is having a problem. This is packed. There are people everywhere. Uh, it is now 1894, we're about halfway through. As you can see, zero debt. That is nice. <clears throat> Excuse me, we are zero debt. And so uh, life is looking good so far, but we're having a problem here. Look at all the people. 134 waiting, trains coming. I'm going to slow this down real quick. Up here you have 82 waiting, train just left, just left. Um, down here you have 120, well, trains loading up as we speak. Loaded up and still 66 of them left. Uh, we have 2.34 million in the bank, so we need to address this issue. Uh, I'll show you how this has been working. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I'll tell you the problem now. Trains come somewhat frequently enough. The one going to Birmingham does not come frequently enough to keep up. But uh, if I made a longer train and picked up more at a time, it could. The issue isn't the trains so much now as it is still using horse and cart to haul fuel from these stations. I had to upgrade each one of these to hold more in all three spots. And uh, that helped because it could hold more at the destination. Because that factory, when it says, hey, there's no more room here, it'll stop putting fuel on and so forth and so on. Uh, the problem is, is the transport time from here to there and in all the cities. Until I get trucks, that's not going to resolve itself. So we're going to have the up and down yo-yo, uh, yo I call it, or whatever you want to call it. So here's what we're going to do. Watch this. We're going to upgrade our train. So I'm going to pause this real fast just for it hits the station. Um, what I want to do is we currently have three wagons in the old uh, car. But he has a 30-year life so, or engine. I thought about upgrading, and I'll show you what I was thinking about doing. But it is ridiculously expensive. So in the upgrade, I said, okay, I want to upgrade to the newer uh, Mogul. So we can do almost 50 miles an hour. And say five of these cars, which would give me 100 something each. Uh, but uh, 4.71 million for each one is a little out of my budget yet. I need to increase my overall ability to make money. I have passengers sitting here. If you look right down here on in the income, the most consistent line is, of course, going to be your passenger because of the up and down on the other stuff. So, what I want to do is have this train drop these off, drop in the station, and add two more cars to them and do the same thing to the other ones. So, let's hit play and get ready. Here we get ready and cha ching, go to the depot. Let me speed it up and then I'll. Get him in the depot. And pause. Alright, so. Currently he has three vehicles. And uh, we want to add. And the reason why I'm not trying to add this is 50. But this train can only do 28 anyways. So it doesn't matter. Um, if I went up to this one, I get 37. So increasing the engine is not going to help me. Because top speed of this car is 31. So unless I can replace these cars at nearly a million a piece, I can't do it. So I'm just going to buy two more of these cars. One, two. That's a 311 foot train, and he can do 100 at a time. So let's get him back out moving. And he's going to be going the opposite direction now. He's going to be heading north, and he should be heading south. And hold on, let me stop him. And reverse him. As soon as he clears, clears that switch, I want to reverse him. Reverse. Go the other way. Okay, reverse. That's fine. Go that way then. Well, only problem now is, is can he handle that, that weight? And they'll, it'll disperse itself out here in a minute. Because I'll have to stop the other train too. That's my only other issue right now is, is he going to be able to handle that weight? So let's get him sped up. And there you go. He's full. Almost full. 85. The other train is now waiting. And then we'll get him to go north and then back south. And this is going to make us more money overall. It costs us money to start, but overall it's going to make us more money. 
there we go. So let's go take a peek here and see if we can see the two newer cars. So far, I haven't been able to tell the difference. We'll slow this down. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see the difference now. You can look on the side. Let me uh, pause it. You can look here on the side. Look how dirty that is. Okay. And then you can see the difference. The roof is not a whole lot. It's not a bunch cleaner on the roof. Uh, but the side, you can definitely... I mean, it's a, it's a subtle difference, but it's a difference. The roof is definitely a little bit cleaner, that's for sure. So there you go. Alright, get them going again. And off he goes. And my thing is, is can he still maintain top speed? That's the question. I think he can. Yep. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. So he'll go, he'll wait, he'll pick up, and then uh, we'll do the same thing. So while we're waiting on that, yeah, this this up, down, up, down. Now it's all the way down to 600 something. Drives you crazy. But it's consistently making money. It's not making as much as it could. I could make a lot more. I do have the new um, Steam car, which I could do, uh, which will increase the overall speed. Uh, it goes 16 miles an hour versus 12, but I can't afford right now to replace all of the trucks and all the different routes because I'm trying to work on the, the uh, this line here first, get these passengers going. So you got 120 or 160. Is he not full? No, he's full. Is he not full? No, he was not full. Oh, because he had just stopped there, that's why. All right, he'll come up here. Right now, there's still 74 waiting. So. And this is going to help. Overall profit's going to help. I mean, we're already back up to 1.69 million. I'm going to start replacing those vehicles as soon as we can. You see how many people are already here? 140 now. Here comes our bigger, much longer train now coming into the station. And we're also going to ride some trains this episode and uh, get on the front there and take a ride on our bigger train. Looking pretty. And there it goes. Looking nice. Alright. And the next one is now on his way. We'll get him into the station. If I can click him. <laughs> Wow, can't seem to click that guy. There we go. And once we get him in station, I'll wait till this guy turns around. Which will be, it'll be about right. We'll wait till he turns around though, and then we'll send them so they're passing each other again. And this will help. Nice upgrade. You know, you just gotta, you know, it's tinkering, improving your lines. Look at all the fuel just sitting there. Can't move it fast enough. If that would, if these trucks could empty that so much faster, it would do a lot better. But you know, we'll get there. Again, it's 1894. All right, to the depot you go. In there, in there, in there. I wish I could upgrade the engines too, but it's just too expensive right now. All right, so we need to buy. And we need two of those. One, two. So, now that one's ready. He should be going south, but he's not. This guy's arriving at the station now. He'll be headed north. I want him to turn around. But that's alright. Let's go ahead and send him now. Uh, that way, he's ready to go. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go ahead and send him now. He could head back north. That'd be fine. There we go. Brand new train coming out. Or not brand new train, but two more cars. Looking good. Away it goes. So we now we went from 120 to or yeah 120 to 200 now, and uh, it'll take a minute and it'll start filling up and equalize itself out because right now there are already 70 something waiting up there. And this, I guarantee, is a full train coming back north. Yep. 
and then as it equals itself out it'll do fine so now you got two headed north let me just uh, you know what stop I'm gonna wait have him wait until he's just about coming back won't take long over there I've got him equalized again won't take long let him hit get all the way up to the station because I don't want them both going the same to you know both heading north at the same time I want him at least turned around at his out you say oh you shouldn't be doing that oh, yeah man. all right so he has unloaded and now he's headed back south New Year. What did we get? Oh, new state car. All right, and we'll start them. So there we go. That should be. That should definitely be a little bit better. And that should. Uh, I should relieve the traffic problem here in the middle. So Winston Salem. All right, let's so let's take a look. 137, 139. Let's see how this works. All right. So down to 114 because not as many going north. Remember, we just had a train go north. Okay, and all right, so one hundred thirty four. You don't have quite full going north, but I mean, it's not the worst in the world. Then let's see what happens here. He should just about empty this now going south. There we go. And that's good. So we still got 60 already regrowing, so that's good. Down here, you're already looking at 112, so uh, it's going to do good. We may not be quite full now, but I think as it continues to cycle through, it'll be full most of the time. Not always full, but it's going to be full quite a bit. We're already at 1.2 million, so we're remaking the money. Fuel from Birmingham, which just left, right? Yep, full. That's the next thing I need to add about two cars to him in order to continue this, uh, be able to pick up enough, because one of the things that stops this production, too, is this uh, fuel backs up there on the, on the line so when he gets down here I'm gonna add uh, uh, two one we'll see I figured how much they are they're expensive I know that they're almost almost a million each right let's see here oh no 300 and something thousand so we're gonna get two more when he comes down here so he can pull a bigger load go ahead and grab him Upgrades, you know, you got the lines in place. I don't need to add more lines right now, um, which I'm going to. Obviously, we want to make that loop, but right now we need to optimize and, and make what we're doing better. Uh, still, 1895. We're not even in 1900 yet, so we're doing good. We're completely out of debt, which is nice. And as we get ready, we'll we'll be able to do better once we, especially once we start getting trucks and stuff. All right, to the depot you go. I mean, somebody's on the line, that thing's going to react and go crazy and say, hey, wait, there's nobody shipping this stuff. It's amazing. But it isn't, it, it took about a year for that thing to fully rebound. But rebounding wasn't as important because then I realized that I can't uh, move enough at the, in, the, you know, the end destination. So, all right, one, two. And that puts him 
Oh man, wait a minute, wait a minute. Get rid of those. Alright, so... Buy... I want it to be set to fuel just because... Right now, I mean, I don't... I don't know. Have it. Alright, so he can move 88 now. And we will set line fuel for me ham. And... Away you go. I wonder how much of a difference you can tell on these. With the smoke, probably none. Those last two... Let's just pause real quick. Let's see. Let's see if we can see a difference. Hmm. They're pretty grimy looking to start with. I don't see any difference. No. No, not seeing a difference at all. Okay. We'll get them running. So now we're down to 748,000 again. <laughs> Broke. So while that's beginning to run, I need to figure out. So I'm at Birmingham. I know I'm going to St. Paul. And I I think I'm gonna go around. Oof. I did not know that was there. That's gonna be a mess to go through. I wanna come down here and around St. Paul and then go along the shore. Or maybe come up and go right through here. Either way, I'm gonna have to deal with some elevation. Elevation. New Orleans, Westminster, and create our loop. I'm thinking. Let's take a look here. Uh, population wise, Winston Salem is the biggest, Birmingham, and then El Paso, so it doesn't make much of a difference at this point. Fort Lauderdale, which is down here, is big. Topeka, High Point, St. Paul. So, St. Paul is already pretty good size. Definitely bigger than Westminster. Not a ton, though. If I go to Westminster, where is this? Wouldn't be too hard, right? No, just go over these tracks. I think we'll go to Westminster next. I'm gonna start building this line. Let's see how he does here. Is he reacting? Uh, so far, not too bad. And now he can start unloading more of it, more of the oil at a time, or fuel. I'll get it right one of these days. He can get more fuel at a time. He's running 88, and he can now run 88. Again, the problem is gonna be the end destination. And boom, load it up. When you haul this fuel all the way down there, it's a uh, see that'll help him. He'll be like, "Wow, that thing's empty." When he hauls this all the way down here, that's a big payday. It's a long trip, and I want to be able to haul uh, fuel. I think I put in a. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So he's set. He can go through. Oh yeah, in order to come this way, I forgot. I have to plow through all this to come this way, so I'm definitely going to go the other way, because that's going to be, you know, 700000 to cut through here. It's going to be expensive. I'll have to do it eventually, just not now. <laughs> uh, but uh, in order to continue to fuel, I can then just run fuel over here, because we'll have to run it and drop it off at the passenger station that we're going to put down here. Probably. Maybe. We'll figure that out. St. Paul's going to be interesting. Yeah. Tip. You would put in the station like I did here. Run you some track out the other end so that they can't do this to you. They do it to me every time, too. And I for every time I forget, that's what happens. So let's look. 118 of 200. So we're not full. But we're not doing terrible. He's only running 67, so, you know. We're running more than we could before, which was 60 and 60, so. Only 22 headed south now. That's not that good. So, well, I mean, we've caught up with demand now. Hmm, not as good as I thought it would be. It might have been too much. Maybe one more car would have been okay. But we'll see, you know, maybe demand will grow and get it be a little bit better. In 1894, we bought 1.55 million in extra vehicles. So you can see we've been running into threes. It, a lot of that depends on this we, uh, this refinery. The more it produces, uh, the more we make. But, you know, 1.92 and we're running threes. Uh, we're in July now, we're already at two because this thing is cranking oil out. 
And then I don't have anybody I got to replace right now, so that's good. You can see now, it's holding its own because it knows it can ship even more out to Birmingham. Again, trucks, if we can just uh, normalize the end there, that would make it a little bit better, that's for sure. So let's start working on getting our line headed over to Westminster, which is going to make our loop down to New Orleans. So let's start laying some track. You can see they're already building through here, so I want to make sure that I can go ahead and get out of here now without it being a fortune. It's going to be a little bit of a fortune just getting off this little hill here that we are created by our, when it built the track, which I don't know, whatever. Alright, no, 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 we're not doing any of that. None of that. No, no snapping to the road. If you hold down shift, it stops that. And there should not be any collision there. There we go. Let's go about there. Okay, so over here in Westminster, let's take a look at... Perfect. I think we'll put the track right here. The station, I should say. And go the other way, it would help. We'll put it right there. Well, let's see. We're going to be headed back down the river. So actually, actually that's going to be better so we can get curved and down faster. Right? Yeah. So we want to do that. Let's make sure we're getting it on the end. And go out about there. There we go. Um, then let's go ahead and start building the infrastructure it's going to need to uh, let's just let's try and go there no, let me do this a little bit better one intersection because later on when you got vehicles driving like crazy everywhere the less intersections you have the better all right so we are on this side of the road right now, so we'll come down that side of the road. So let's go back to the track here. And uh, get going out here, and then get it turned without quite that. There we go. And here we go. Now, my thing is, I gotta figure out. Um, What I want to do as far as trains on this line, do I want to simply include those two that are running or add a third? And no matter what, I'm going to have to put, so that means a passing loop. So we'll start the passing loop here. Yes. And run in it. Oh, is that rodent vehicle? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh. Come up here. Alright, we'll run. I run long passing loops uh, so that they can enter, you know, close to the stations and get by each other. And then that way, if I ever need to double track, it's already pretty much ready to go. Is that connected? I think it is. Let me look. No, we don't want to do that. I want to connect. Let's see. Can I get a... Oh, that little hump is going to be a mother. It doesn't want to do that because of the road. Will you do it? Yeah, that'll have to work, won't it? Alright, so you got this little hump thing here. Okay, signals. So, uh, coming back. Go on this side. Going down on the other side. Keeping the right hand rule. Okay, and put that there. And then, let's go to the 
this line. So right now what it's doing is it goes from Winston-Salem to El Paso. Let me pause. To El Paso. Then back to Winston-Salem. So let's remove and remove. So after El Paso we want to add station. Voila. Then add station. El Paso. Then Winston-Salem. Then uh, I didn't do that right, did I? No. Uh, remove. Then Birmingham. And it'll go back to Winston-Salem and let's do it again, right? Yeah. So then it'll go back to Winston-Salem. El Paso, Westminster, El Paso, Winston-Salem. So the two middle towns are the ones that are going to get it the most. All right, so we're going to go ahead and say go. And it's going to be a little bit longer, but we're running under the 200 now, so we have the ability. So I need to go to Westminster now and build a bus route. All right, so I need a bus stop. And we'll put it right here by the train. Boom. And then let's put one here, close to the intersection. Seems to work better. And then let's put one over here. That'll work. That covers pretty much everybody. And then we'll build a new line. And say from here to here to here. And let's go WM. Bus, Westminster bus, and let's see, we need a depot, and yeah, we'll put that, uh, let's put that over here, uh, put it on the outskirts of town over here, can I not get this to, you don't want it too close because of expansion, you know, when you expand your road, alright, so buy a vehicle, you want to buy this, one, two, Set line, Westminster bus. All right, get the work, guys. And they'll start rounding up, and we'll begin to see trains headed down. You can see where El Paso is spreading; it's spreading that direction. All right, and we're gonna lose money for a little bit. It'll take some time to equal itself out, but uh, I think overall it'll do fine. Now you got, you're going to have some serious waiting now because the way that's going to work. I'm going to have him, as soon as he hits that station, I'm going to turn him around. Turn around. Go the other way. Now you got one, yeah, I'd rather have him going the other way now. Alright, looking good. This thing is doing okay. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, you know, it's not great. So he's got, uh, got anybody on board? 16 people, but they're not going here. Guarantee you, yep. So he's going to carry those 16 people with him. And uh, it'll take a minute. And the other one will come down here. Stop New Orleans. And then stop St. Paul and Birmingham, I think. If we come along right through here, it won't be too bad. And then I think I want to go down towards, rather than try and do that curvature, go down towards the river and head up that way. Have Westminster come down along the line, curve through that way. Yep. So let's look at New Orleans here. Oh, actually. Right there is the spot where you're going to want the train station. So, let's spin it. Will it fit? Oh, look at there. Yeah, that's going to fit good. I can't quite get it there, though. If you hold down shift, you get uh, fine tuning on your stuff. You got to be kidding me. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, Dag, I wish that was. You know what? I'm gonna delete that road. Bulldoze. That was loud, wasn't it? All right. So we're gonna go. No. Yeah. Right there. Okay. And I'll put in a road in a minute. I'm only gonna need, as far as I know, no. This, in order to connect the other side. I think New Orleans. No, because I'm going to use the port to run those. So I think a single station is going to work just fine. I'm thinking. Could be wrong. All right, so let's run our track. Track. Let's go this way. All right, so I need topography again. Oh, I have it on. <laughs> it's just nice and flat. Okay, so let's go up here to Westminster now. Let's start making our turn. There we go. Wow, that's expensive. Pump. Okay. He is on which side of the road? That side. Let's go ahead and have it cross right here. Oh, it's not going to do it. <laughs> um... That'll work for right a second. A little bit of a, a jumbled mess there, but overall not too bad. Okay. Well, on the river. It's going to be a nice view, huh? And voila. A little bit of a jiggle joggle there, but that's okay. All right, so this is now going to come out of here. Let's go ahead and turn around. And we have to go along the river and then go up. So let's go there. And so you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a passenger uh, boat here and connect it to Fort Lauderdale, Palm Bay, Savannah, and torrents. So we'll be getting in that too. That's going to be pretty cool. That's why I like this map when I saw it. I was like, ooh, I like that. All right, New Orleans. We'll turn back around here. So we're going to go down and then over. There. Nice and cheap along here. We're getting low on money. No, 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 no. You're not doing all that. There's no need to build all that right here. Let's stay just far enough away from that, so if we use it, we can expand. I'm going to start it turning north. Alright, well, I think we may have to slow our progress here. Where are we? Okay, so we're going that way. So I don't want to go too far, because I need to really start turning now. Come up the other side of that road. And uh, we're going to want the station. Um here. So let's put the station in. Uh, let's see here. I'm thinking. Wow, that's going to be... I'd rather have the road bump than that. Let's see. That would be better, yes. Yeah, that's better. Let's go... Yeah, let's go... Uh, Let's go there. So let's get the line going this way first. All right. Um, cross the road. Immediately start kind of turning that way. Let's see. I have track to here. Turn back on topography. I want the track to come up, and then. We'll meet right around in this area, so let's go uh, small sections here. Get it where it's going down gently, especially when we cross these little ooh, nice gentle downward slope here. Nothing major. There we go. There we 
go. Looking good. Okay, let's start turning just a little bit here. Get across the road. Okay. And track is there, so we continue to turn. There we go. And start lining it up. It's a little bit longer to do this. Once we've got the bigger train, it's not going to matter as much. But the biggest thing is we're avoiding a lot of this uh, up and down hilly stuff up there. You saw what it was trying to do. It was trying to dig all into the ground. We do not need you to do that. Still doing good. Still making some money there. A little dig. I don't want it digging. Once it starts digging, it, it wants to keep doing that. So sometimes you have to just get right down in here and make it work, you know. Alright, so there's that. Now, okay, so now we have to go up here in the big one. We have to cut through that in order to... Now, I want to go right through there. So let's start with that. Than this. It's good so far. Topography is our friend. Yeah. Look at that. We went through all this up and down hilly stuff without making a big dent in our wallet. No, we don't want to do that. No, 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 no. See, in that small section, it wants to be just a tiny little up and down rather than this gigantic thing that mess up your engines. So now we have to save up money to get through that because that's going to be a real nightmare. Because of the buildings in our way. And let's see. This is going to have to come out and curve, so I don't want to build any more right now. Leave myself enough room to get to that. Now, what's the easiest way for me to get out of here? There's this way. It doesn't seem to matter what I do. There's that way. That's just going to have to be what I'm going to have to do, huh? I don't have to go through there. No matter what I, what I, no matter what, I'm gonna have to go through there. So, um, I want to go ahead and finish this loop here. So let's borrow a million and let's go through it. Oof, that hurt. It's alright. You'll rebuild. You'll figure it out. All right, track is there. I see it. Okay. And let's connect this road. Will it connect there? No. It will connect there. Yes. Alright, now there it's got to start growing out this way. Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of an S in here. No, we don't need to go all that digging. I think we're fine. See if that'll just connect. Yeah, that'll work. Beautiful. We have a loop, fellers. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a loop. Alright, so I need to if we get them going in the same direction, I don't need the passing sightings, do I? But I do need them because I would like them going in opposite directions. Um so we do need them. So we're gonna have to lay more track. And uh, it's expensive, but it's the way it goes. Is this thing actually picking anybody up over here yet? Uh, it's starting to do it. I mean, let's see how our line's doing. 
132, still doing alright. And we'll obviously need another train to, you know, at some point. Uh, but I want to get the loop going. How's our actor doing? Yeah, up and down, up and down. What are you going to do? Lines are looking good all the way around. This is actually losing money now. My biggest money maker is losing money. The distance. And have no just to running empty through there. I'm sure is not uh, the most ideal situation in the world. Where is the other train at? Let's see. Oh, there it is. It's coming south. Okay. So you are full. And I saw the other one right there. And you're full. So it, it looks like it'll start making money again. I guess we better stop building. We're at a point where we're almost losing money. So we spent uh, a lot. <laughs> spent a lot on vehicles and stuff in 1895. So we and we still ain't lost that much. So right now this year we have 2.18, 1.84, but we have spent you know 1.7 million. So we're not doing that great right now. And he just unloaded and emptied the station. It's been a long time since I've seen that station empty. So that's good. Um, what I'm going to want is one train going one way, one train going another, and at some point two more on the loop as well so but we've got the loop built now that's that's the key right it's it's built all right 64 headed south uh, and now that it's built we've got a good start these um, I'm gonna have to save some money for sure and do remember the, the train I showed you for the replacement we're going to have to do this because we're going to need that speed in order to handle the route. So we're going to have to replace these vehicles. Plus, they're getting on close to uh, their age now. Let's go fuel. Blah, blah, blah. Fuel. Truck. There we go. Uh, we'll set a vehicle replacement. Hmm. It's only one more, but it is faster. And we'll say fuel. And okay. Yes, let's replace those two with that. I know it's expensive, but we'll do it. One, two. As soon as that flips over. Because they're getting, you know, it's a ton of fuel down there, so. Boom, one of them replaced. And. Where is it? Uh, yep, one replaced, and the other one's about to be replaced. There we go, two replaced. And no. So we'll see how that does now. Um, only five of eighty-eight coming south. It's, again, it's getting stocked up back here. How many you got right now? Sitting there, fuel, Birmingham. See, this is the beauty. You could tell them, hey, you know what? Go back. No way. You can go back. I like to tell it to just wait for full load. I could do that, you know. I could tell it, hey, you know what, you need to wait for a full load. Let's pause this. Uh, fuel Birmingham line. What's the Salem sightings? Full load. You can wait. Let's see what the, the train just hanging out in the station. Just sit there and they can fill it up. Instead of running back and forth, it makes more sense, doesn't it? And just wait. So there you go. You can you can wait. And you can see it's uh, filling it up, and then go. Make more sense that way. That way, there when it's going down, it's gonna you know drop off good money, not a little. This is finally starting to catch up now. Fifty people waiting. That's good. Once we get this loop going, that loop's going to make us a lot of money. It's just a matter of getting it going and having faster, a little bit faster trains so we can keep up. Once we do that, it'll, I think this will help keep this things for, keep the refinery's production a little bit higher and help them to empty that out down there. 
And he's almost full. And away he goes. Also what I want to do is replace uh, the end here. All these trucks and the trucks over in Winston-Salem with those little gas powered ones that go faster. Right, yeah, that road there you can go. Let's see, you can go. Uh, yeah, that's not upgradable. So they're at this 25, or you get up to 25. And that thing can go. Buy a road vehicle, it drives up to 16. So you'd have to upgrade, I believe, right? This is up to 12, so yeah, you would have to upgrade. Unless you just went with a small country road, which is faster. Go figure. Could upgrade that. It actually goes faster. That is unreal. Why would that go faster? It says up to 22 lane road. Two lane street with a speed limit of 12. Two lane with 25. Medium street 25. 37. Jeez. Oh, upgrade. And then when I do my vehicles here in a minute, maybe they go much faster. Yeah. Go ahead and upgrade that too. Let's go down here to, let's see. If I tell it to go that way, would it be faster? Probably not. Let's look at the route real quick. Well, yeah, let's get the route up. Uh, I don't need to see you now. Thank you. All that noise in my ear. Here. 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 Oh, laggy. What happened? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm really laggy there. Okay, so it goes that way, that way. Let me turn off the line. Alright, so upgrade that. Upgrade that. 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 Because that way, uh, now I've got vehicles that can go that speed. So we need to be able to let them go that speed. It's the first time I've seen any lag whatsoever. But I'm feeling it now. There's there's definitely some lag going on right this minute. I'll have to restart the game. Alright, let me run up here. And let's go here. In preparation of upgrading vehicles. There, there, that intersection's upgraded. Oh, I thought I went that way. Which way does it go? So he goes, yeah, I was done with it. Uh, okay, so that's the way he goes. All right. So we'll upgrade this, upgrade this, this. There we go. Party. Might as well upgrade that too. There we go. So now what I want to do, it, I'm not ready to put the loop on yet because it it's not ready for it. Let's see if we can increase this. So, here we go. It's going to be expensive. And it's starting to make money now. It's coming back. It's definitely coming back now. He's only got 12. Where are you? But you've only got... Where are you that you've only got that many? Coming back. Okay, yeah. That's you right there. That's the part that hurts. You come back from down there. Okay. Fuel to Winston-Salem. Uh, yeah. Replace. Set vehicle. This. And fuel. Okay. 25%? Yes. Well, that's going to be expensive. Fuel, Winston Salem. Here we go. One, two, three. That's going to be expensive. Hmm. That's going to be faster. Look at that. They're much faster than little carts. Doesn't seem like they're much faster, but man, they are. 16 miles an hour. It adds up. 
fuel Winston Salem. One more left to go. Here he comes. And chiching. Okay. So uh, now you're a no. Let me turn off this line real quick. Uh, who else is way over? Road vehicle 37. Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, so now I want to do this line because it's smaller. 25%. Yes. I want to go ahead and because these two are going to get stuck behind these two. And since it's only four trucks, let's go ahead and get those two taken care of as well. Truck and truck. Well, that's a cart, so he'll get changed. And there we go. And one more. Wherever he is. There we go. Done. And 100% and no and back. And I didn't change that on fuel once in Salem did 100%. No, because I don't want warnings that it's over. Okay. Fuel El Paso. This is going to be expensive. And I can probably get rid of one of these now. Set vehicle. This. And fuel. Okay. 25%. Yes. Let's see. I want to send 39. Right. Let's send you to the depot. To the depot. Or don't. Yeah, go to the depot. Don't stop. I'm going to sell you. The rest of them will replace. And that's going to, I think that's going to help us overall. Fuel, El Paso. Three left to go. We'll see how that does as far as, um, Increasing our ability to to uh, to take care of the end here. Two left to go. Here they come right here. We're still making good money though. You know, replace on these vehicles. All right, upgrade and upgrade. There we go. That's everybody, right? Yeah. Okay, 100% and no. So now my fuel, my fuel, and my fuel are trucks. And I'm going to sell you. And now, what I wouldn't mind doing is knocking a few of these into trucks, too. How are you looking? Still good. And him sitting and waiting for a full load has helped, I think. A little bit. Now what I'm curious is can we really knock this fuel out faster? I think that definitely can. You know, whoops, how much faster can we knock this fuel out? I mean these trucks are moving now. <coughs> Excuse me. He'll come down with a full load and it should empty this really fast. all these red numbers and yet we're making money <coughs> excuse me new vehicle new vehicle new vehicle new vehicle boom so that filled up and look he's what oh, did he even fill up he didn't have a full load did he That's strange oh he's on a cycle of up and down up and down so four trucks look at that zip okay that's looking good now. Alright, so what I'm going to do is we're going to pause it here. And uh, in this episode, I'm going to save up some money. I need to get um, probably two more of these trains. Or actually, I really need to upgrade these trains uh, on our passenger line to the bigger, faster trains. And then uh, I might keep these guys. I might just buy two of those bigger, faster trains. Get them on this circle route and get the bus stops going and these but I need money 
to do it. Ain't a lot of money to do it. Currently, I have a one million dollar loan. We'll repay that and just kind of wait, give it a little bit, and uh, we'll go from there. See what happens in a year or two, and I save up some money. And uh, and I'll optimize off camera. I'll see if this is too many trucks. If it is, I can send it to you know one of these other ones, and uh, begin to optimize. And I may do some replacing on these vehicles, but overall, uh, we will see you soon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and um, let us know how you're doing on your game. Uh, how's it working out for you, and what are you struggling with? All right, guys. Thank you so much.